everyone, it's Lauren Carl and welcome to Workout Wednesday, which is a new segment I will be adding weekly to my YouTube channel, Just Veganing. And I think it says it in the name, we're gonna be doing a little bit of working out because during this time of the coronavirus where a lot of us are self-isolating or social distancing, we need to take care of that body. So I create a little series called Stay Sane because we need to stay sane, but stay safe. Take care of this. And if you're able to leave a little bit of a tip, please feel free to at paypal.me backslash Lauren Carl 25. And you know what? If you're not, please do not worry. I really just want you taking care of yourselves during this time and using this time for you. Anyway, on to the workout. So find a little space in your house that we could get this workout up and running. Literally. Anyway, so we're just gonna start with a little bit of a warm up. So just follow what I'm doing and let's get that body heated up. So we're just gonna start with a little bit of jogging in place. You know, just trying to warm up the muscles and joints right now. And we're gonna take those arms. It's almost like we're doing, I don't know, a freestyle stroke here, but obviously we're not in a pool. So a little, little air swimming for you. Nice, so we're just taking it easy, just getting that body warmed up and let's take it backwards. And we're gonna get a little breath stroke going. Here we go. Ah, feeling those endorphins. And we're just gonna jump side to side. Getting that core warmed up a little bit. And we're just gonna rotate that core a bit. Now on to, so we're just taking that opposite hand and touching, trying to touch your toe or as low as you can go of that opposite leg. This kind of gets those hamstrings woken up, woken up and ready to, ready to rock. And then now we're just gonna take it leaning to the side. And to the other side. And now let's touch those toes and kind of rolling up vertebrae one by one. Ah, and we are ready to go. So this video is basically, we're gonna be doing a lot of body weight stuff. We'll get a little cardio in at the end, but I wanna make sure that we are really focused on form. So we're kinda gonna go, go through some basics because once we got those down, we'll be ready to up it, up it, but form is most important. Always take form over speed or anything else. So we're just gonna start with a basic squat. So toes align with the knees, align with the hips. We're just gonna go for 10 of these. Like I said, this is more of a beginner workout, just making sure we get the form down. So notice my chest is up, and as I'm doing it, notice that um, chest is up, there's no curving of the lower spine. It's almost like I'm sitting backwards, so you should be feeling a lot of that energy going through the heels as we're squatting down. Um, big thing is, I don't wanna see those knees going over the toes, that's bad. We don't want that. So. I like to pretend as if I'm sitting over a dirty toilet seat, but obviously you don't want to sit on the toilet seat. Um, but you know, you want to make sure you don't pee on yourselves. I know, wow, really, really visual that one is, but <laughs> whatever will get you doing the good form. Wonderful. So we've done 10 of those and now we're just going to get into a lunge. Once again, I want toes aligned with the knees, aligned with the hips. I like to pretend as if someone pushes me forward. So I take a big step and I'm dropping straight down. Now, once again, we're going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Main thing with this is you don't want to let that knee go over the toes. So dropping it straight down. Just going to go for 10 of these really driving that energy through the heel. And as always thinking wonderful thoughts because we're getting that body moving. I know it's a crazy time and everyone's either social distancing or self-isolating. So it is good to get the body moving, moving and grooving just because it's good I think for obviously uh, physical health, but mental health as well. 
switch it to the other side. Once again, toe align with the knees, align with the hips. And really bending that back knee nice and low. Now with a lunge, I never want that back knee touching the ground. That might be a little, little rough on those kneecaps there. But we want to get nice and low. And let's go for five more. Five. Wonderful work. Four. And here we go for three. Number two. And last but not least, we got number one. Awesome. So next thing, we're gonna take it down to the ground and we are gonna do tricep dips. So I'm gonna show you the tricep dip sideways. Fingers facing forward. I don't want them back like that facing forward. Um, a nice straight back, boom. We're just gonna go for 15 of these. Basically, you're just hinging at the elbows. You could do this on a chair as well. We're just doing it on the floor. Notice my hips are up. I'm not using my legs at all to, to press me up and down. It's all in those lovely triceps. And here we go for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, one and done. Taking it back up. See you up there. We're taking it to standing now. We're gonna work those shoulders a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're just, I got the timer here. We're gonna go for 45 seconds, circling those shoulders forward, and then we'll go 45 seconds, circling them backwards. Now I know this might look easy, but um, I don't know, the more, you, the more you do, the longer amount of time we do it for, you'll kind of feel those shoulders starting, starting to work. Oh yes. Hope you're all enjoying all of my, um, not my clutter, but my treasures behind me. Hey, it's the joys of being able to work out at home, you know, what can we say? I always say if you have a mat space, uh, space, if you have a mat's worth space of space, you're able to do a workout. So really, I think in most people's homes, we'll be able to, to get that body moving, which is, which is always good news. Ooh, taking it backwards. So now we're just reversing it backwards. Hopefully we're starting to feel that little burn in the shoulders. Mm -mm -mm. Loving it, loving it. Hope everyone's having a good day, having some positive thoughts. I always think it's nice to start off the day with a good little mantra or just think of five things that you are appreciative of. It's a nice way to start the day kind of with a little bit of gratitude. All right, team. We got about five seconds. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go through for a second round. I might vary a few of the exercises up just to give a little bit more of a challenge. So let's do it. Starting with our squats. Now, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. So a nice static hold. Let me get the timer going. And as always, we want those knees behind the toes. Here's a little side angle for you. And really sending that energy through the heels. You should kind of start feeling a bit of a burning sensation. And that is the magic just at work. So just holding here, breathing. Breathing is always so important. Sometimes I have a few clients that they like forget to breathe, but make sure you get that oxygen flowing through that system. Nice. So we got just about 15 seconds. Hopefully we're starting to feel a little bit of a burn. Getting those lovely legs working. Nice. And here we go for three, two, and one and done. All right, so we're gonna do something similar with the lunges. We're gonna hold for, you guessed it, 45 seconds is kind of the magical number today. So we are just in a nice lunge hold. Holds are a really nice way to just add a little something extra to the exercise, to the legs. So it just makes it a little more difficult. So we're just holding here. And as always, really sending that energy through that front heel. Wonderful. So we got just about 20 seconds left. Maybe you're feeling those legs starting to shake a little bit. Good. 
Nice, and we are holding, holding, holding. We got 10 seconds left. And here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. And of course, boom, you know, the other side, we don't want to leave that out. So switching it over. So these are ways, holds are ways to kind of just add a little bit of more intensity to, to the workout, to the exercise, which is what we're doing. You know, we're here to work. Let's burn some calories. Nice, and we're holding, holding, holding. <sighs> and breathing, breathing it through. We got just about 20 seconds left. Hey, if you can, try to lower that back knee just a little bit lower. <sighs> breathing through, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Chest is up and open. And here we go for five, four, three, two and one awesome shake those out woo, woo, woo. feeling that energy all right now we're going to take it to the floor for our tricep dips all right so once again fingers forward really just hinging at those elbows we want to we want to get those uh, triceps feeling good here we're going to go we're going to go for 15 once again get that bum up boom looking forward and here we go Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo, woo, woo. And we're gonna take it up to work those shoulders. And we're back. All right, so we're gonna go circling those shoulders, going forward for 45 seconds, and then we'll be going backwards for 45 seconds. Let me get that time a going. And we're off. Like I said, today's workout is kind of for beginners. We're going over form because that's most important. Following workouts, they'll vary. We might do some cardio ones. We'll do some sequences with things, work with some body weight stuff. So we'll vary it up. Don't worry, we're gonna keep it fun. We're gonna keep it sane. I think that's the big thing now when we're all kind of self-isolating and whatnot. It's staying sane, but you know, working out, boom, it sends that positive energy to the mind and the body and the soul. So definitely a good thing thank you all so much of course for joining me i hope you're hope you're having a good time here we go we got five seconds four three two and one and taking it backwards oh that burn i don't know i feel like singing i've been cooped up in the house for a bit so a little bit of craziness is to be expected <laughs> wonderful work nice even though we are working the shoulders, do you try to keep like the neck and shoulders relaxed? I don't want too much crazy tension going on there. So, you know, try to not let them raise too much. Alrighty, we are going for, we got 10 seconds left. Wonderful stuff. Really, really good. Breathing it through. Positive thoughts are just flowing for three, two and one awesome cool so that was some of the body weight stuff that i want to do now on to cardio yes so what we're going to do we're going to do a bit of an interval so i'm going to show you four different exercises we're going to go through the those four three times we'll get a 30 second rest after the fourth one so 30 seconds four exercises 30 second rest and we're going to repeat that three times yes so first one, it's high knees. Now with the high knees, I want knees hip height. Second one we're gonna do, it's just jumping jacks, or in the UK, we call them star jumps. Now, hey, if, if any of you, like if the impact's a bit too much, you could always march for the high knees, you could always step to the side, step to the side. Next one, we're gonna take it down to the ground for some mountain climbers. Now, this, I want shoulder nicely over the wrist, keeping that back nice and flat. I don't want the bum in the air and I don't want curving in the lower spine. So nice and straight. Like so. And then I just want, we're gonna go for some squat jumps. Now, once again, if this is a bit too much impact, you could just squat it down and up nice and quick. 
All right, let's go through these. I'm gonna bring us up. Here we go. So now that we know how to do it, let's get doing it. Here we go, our first 30 seconds, we're going with our wonderful high knees. So as always, knees, we're aiming for hip height. Always positive thoughts going on in our minds. Nice, and as always, breathing it through. Wonderful, we got 15 seconds. And like I said, if this is too much pounding for you, you can always do a high knee march. And here we go for three, number two, and one, awesome. Next one, jumping jacks, AKA star jumps. And then of course, to make it easier, just stepping to the side. Breathing it, breathing it. Keeping this good work going. Here we go for three, two, and one. Boom, into those mountain climbers. So here we go, hopefully you can see me, and we are off. So hopefully you're noticing my shoulders are over the wrists. We're not back like this in any way. Keeping things nice and forward. And here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. And we're taking it up for, you guessed it, squat jumps. And hey, if, uh, if, if this is too much impact, just take it to up and down squats. Nice, you using that breath. And as always, really trying to land nice and light. Always land with wonderful bent knees. Just protects the kneecaps. <laughs> and relax. Awesome. Get a little 30 second recovery. Get a little water, breathe. Walk around the room. Oh, the sun's coming in, so nice. So that was round one and we got two more rounds. Hopefully we're getting, getting the, the swing of it. Awesome, here we go, interval round number two. Number two, and we got those high knees again. Nice, keeping this good work going. Really, really good job out there, I'm loving it. Getting that heart pumping. Feeling good, feeling alive. Here we go for two and one. Into those star jumps immediately. Just trying to do these intervals one after the next. Hopefully we're getting a little bit of a sweat on. Here we go for two and one. Boom, taking it to the ground. Mountain climbers, here we come. Hopefully you're all looking at my lovely array of books behind me. Ooh, so interesting. <laughs> Working out in the house. And here we go for five, four, three, two and one. It's time for squat jumps. Here, I'll do it sideways for you, just so you see. Like I said, always landing with soft bent knees. I don't want to hear a lot of like crashing in the landing. I want to keep things nice and soft. And here we go for three, two, one. Virtual high fives. That's our second interval. Boom, done. We got one more to go. 
Grab that water, walk around the room, breathe, collect yourselves. <sighs> feeling good, feeling alive. I don't know, a little, a little singing and dancing is always fun. Here we go. So we are in our last interval. Then we'll be into stretching. Yes. Here we go. All right. We got those high knees. So this being our third round, really go for it. Go for some speed with this. Go for some height with the squat jumps. You know, really want to push ourselves because we will be stretching soon, which is music to some people's ears, I bet. Awesome. Nice work. And here we go for five, four, three, two, and one into star jumps. Get a little speed going. Why not? We love it. We love a challenge. We love to get that body working. Nice, breathing it through, awesome. Here we go, we got five seconds, guys. Keep it going. And here we go for two and one. Boom, down to the ground. Mountain climbers. Nice work, really powering it through, really keeping form with this one. Back nice and, and flat. I don't wanna see that bum in the air. Breathing it, breathing it. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. And squat jumps. All right, last one we're doing. And then stretching. Give me some height with this. Wonderful work. Awesome job. I'm so pleased. I love seeing everyone up and about moving. Makes me happy. The things I love. Here we go for two and one. Boom! Virtual high fives there. Awesome. Now we are going to take it down to the ground to stretch it out. And thank you for joining me down here. So what we're going to start off with first, straighten one leg and we're just crossing our right arm over that left bent knee. This kind of, you know, gets the, the lower back. It's a nice little stretch for, for, the, for the core, for the mid area. Just gonna hold for a little bit here. And let's do the other side. Hopefully everyone's feeling good. Get those endorphins going. It feels nice to get the body moving, doesn't it? I certainly enjoy it. Wonderful. And let's just take it to the side. We're going to try to touch our toes or, you know, get as far down as we can on the leg. You know, flexibility. It's not, it's not easy for everyone. I used to definitely not be very flexible at all. And I'm still not that flexible, but everyone's different, right? At the side. How are you all feeling? Yes, made it through. Like I said, this is more of a beginner's workout. I just wanted to explain some form for you guys and you know, we'll be doing a variety of different, different things in other videos. But it's nice to get a good strong core and foundation. Now we're just gonna take lying on our back. Oh yeah, just trying to once again stretch those hammies. They tend to get quite tight. So we're just pulling, giving, giving a little resistance. And the other side. Oh, this next one you guys are gonna love. It's a glute one. It's kind of like we're making a figure four. So it should get this, this bum area. Oh, the glute booty. And you know, you could bring your left knee a little bit closer and that will just make the stretch. You know, it'll make you feel that stretch a little bit more. Awesome job. And of course we're gonna switch it over. 
So hopefully everyone's feeling like they've done something productive today. Hey, just showing up here and working out. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm happy, you know. Definitely, definitely, obviously a great thing to do. Wonderful. And we're just going to get the arms. We're just going to take that arm across the chest. And we got the other side. Lovely work, lovely work. And we're just gonna take it overhead. So it's kind of like we're touching the top part of our back with our hand, and we're just gonna pull down, pull on top of that elbow. Mm -mm -mm. Feels so good to stretch it out. And other side. And, oh, just stretch, stretch across the chest. And wonderful work. Thank you so much for joining me. Please watch. There's going to be a workout every Wednesday on my YouTube channel, Just Veganing. And if you're able to and want to, please feel free to donate. I will leave all my PayPal info here. And if you can't, don't worry. I'm just happy to get you guys up and moving. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for you joining me. Just keep sending out positive vibes. We need love. So stay safe and stay sane. I'll see you next week. Bye.